But when I tell niggas I'm really having my way in here, you heard, that's what I mean. Hey, yo, Brandon, what's your position, gang? Shit, I wash his bowls and dishes. Hey, yo, what's your position, Nico? I wash his, I do his laundry. What's your position, Dylan? I clean his room. Stop playing with my body, y'all. Nah, for real. Staten Island inmate pumped three dudes into being his slaves. So this is a, this is in prison and jail in Staten Island, man. I didn't know Staten Island had their own jail. I thought they were the Rikers Island. They may have their own, um, as it is, it is separate. It is kind of like far from New York. So maybe they have their own jail down there. I didn't know that. This guy has enslaved three gliders, man. He's enslaved three gliders. I'm going to let y'all come up, man. I'm going to drop the link, man. This guy has enslaved three gliders in prison, man. And made them his slaves. Real life um, Oz, man. And he's going online about it, man. Real life Oz out here. And how you get a cell phone, man? What are you doing with a cell phone, man? How you... Never mind. <laughs> it's 2023, I forgot, man. 2023, anything goes, man. I'm, I'm learning that in 2023, you got to take these news stories. <laughs> well, that's what we do. Anyway, let me see. Let me see. We do that anyway, man. We, we, we break them down, man. We compartmentalize them. <laughs> There's so much going on, man. So much going on in these stories, man. We break them down, man. We break them down and compartmentalize them, man. Because you can't just watch it as one whole story, man. It would be nice if you could. There's so much, <laughs> so much going on. So many questions, man. So many questions, man. Fishermen, man. Got fishermen in the building, man. Fishermen in the building, man. What's up, fishermen? Oh, I did a good thing today. You said what? I did a good thing today. Oh, wow. What's that? I uh I execute uh, executed two biracials. These are the worst people on the planet, and they all need to be executed. I gave some uh some potted plants to some homeless sun people. <laughs> man, you 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 out here doing it big, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, man, salute to you, man. You 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 the best person. You 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 actually you the best person in the world, man. Um. There's nobody better than you for those two deeds right there. God, holy man! Wow, what do you think about this 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 gang member right here, um, in 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 prison? This this son son gang member, um, he he went live to show you guys like how he's living in prison, and how he's pumped these three guys into being his um slaves. Now listen, of course he has gang behind him you know what i'm saying yeah he dude those those gliders are outnumbered what yeah. probably nine or ten to one yeah so he's he's using his um he's using uh, well it can't be racism because you know he can't yeah he he, he he don't have no power but he, he's using big, bigotry or what <laughs> when i tell niggas i'm really having my way in here you heard that's what i mean hey yo brandon what's your position gang yeah, I wash his bowls and dishes. Hey, yo, what's your position, Nico? I don't wash his, I do his laundry. What's your position, Dylan? I clean his room. <laughs> this is, uh, this is so ugly, man. This is so ugly. And this ain't gonna go viral. Gliders ain't smart enough to share this, like. <laughs> Y'all are y'all are so dumb. Y'all 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 too dumb to share this, man. Like mad share. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is 
this should be shared by every single glider because it shows you what's really going on in this country this is this may be prison right this may be jail but these guys are still human beings man and if one of the ceos if this guy spit in the ceo's fit face and the ceo jacked him up he'd be <laughs> they'd be down the activists would be down at the jail talking about um look how they treating us like animals <laughs> insane man unbelievable what do you think about this fishing yeah i agree i mean gliders i've been having this struggle with gliders my whole life trying to get them to actually live in reality and have stop having this weird like self-flagellating like backwards the nicer we are the better it'll be oh, mentality and it's all wrong yeah it's, it never it, it, it may work like that with other groups but it, it it definitely don't work like that no it, it, it works with other, other gliders particularly it does not work with some people at all zero percent of the time will that ever lead to a successful outcome yeah no no salute to um Amber C, man, coming through. And my man, um, Nate Waves, coming through again, man. Salute, man. Yeah, man. This is ugly, man. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't think you hard. I don't think you cool. Because I know you wouldn't do this to these men on the street. Well, he could probably rob him or do street crime, but if he if no gun was involved on the street, all he would do was be a big mouth trying to make a big scene and trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like this guy right here, this guy right here is, is like a foot taller than him. Stop playing with my body, y'all. No, nah, for real. When I tell niggas I'm really having my win here, you heard? That's what I mean. Hey, yo, Brandon, what's your position, gang? Yeah, I wash his bowls and dishes. Hey, yo, what's your position, Nico? I don't wash his, I do his laundry. What's your position, Dylan? That guy sound a little slow, too. I clean his room. Dang. Wow. They bring a slavery back, man. Yeah, <laughs> dog. And bringing it to the internet, bragging about it. You know, and they're taking the dignity, man. This guy, something bad gonna happen to this guy, man, one day because something bad happens to everybody. Not because of, not because of karma, but just because bad things happen to everybody. Something bad gonna happen to this guy one day, and he gonna want to play the victim. I promise you. Yeah, he he got that that big ego on him, and that shit don't fly very long, especially around other sun men. Yeah. He bragging and he think he top shit. Yeah, it just it. I don't believe karma in in, these, in a lot of situations. I just believe. Yeah, I, I question that a lot too because you see a lot of pieces of shit do nothing but winning. Yeah, I just believe that it's just it's just he like you said, Sun Man, man. Like you're gonna, he can't remain around Sun Man for for a long period of time and nothing bad happen, especially prison where it's like the bad ones. So something bad is gonna happen to him eventually, and. He's going to be crying a victim, or even a CEO may do something to him. But this is, this is, this is just so ugly, man. This is, this is, you you taking these guys' dignity. You 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 know they you know think about it for them to have to stand back there, and then, you know, think about how much abuse. Like it's, it's like this. You ever seen those elephants like ride tricycles or something? And, you know what I'm saying? Or like they got an elephant juggling with his um his his trunk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or a monkey, like you know what I'm saying, in a suit walking on a tightrope. Do you understand how much whipping and fucking practice and admonishing it takes to get that fucking monkey to wear a suit and walk a tightrope? While juggling, it takes a whip to do that, a stick upside the head. So for these guys to be standing back there at attention and to not move till he says so and to imagine the abuse, the amount of 
the abuse it took to get them to this point. Stop playing with my body, y'all. Now, nah, for real. When I tell niggas I'm really having my way in here, you heard? That's what I mean. Hey, yo, Brandon, what's your position, gang? Shit, I wash his bowls and dishes. Hey, yo, what's your position, Nico? I don't wash his, I do his laundry. What's your position, Dylan? I clean his room. Stop playing with my body, y'all. Now, nah, for real. Mm-hmm. <sighs> when when some men get power, man, we are some of the worst people on the planet when we get power, man. I mean, we are terrible. That's why I always tell you guys, like, if we had if we had y'all enslaved, y'all would have never, we would have never let y'all free. <laughs> I'm talking about never. You heard me say that before, right, Fisherman? Yeah. It's true. I mean, it would be the most brutal, animalistic shit you could like. That's why I'm saying, Ock, when I talk to gliders, I'm like, y'all don't understand the alternative reality that you are acquiescing to. Because it ain't going, there ain't no trains, there ain't no planes, there ain't no running water. You're going to drink from a puddle and you're going to get beaten to death. Like, you don't understand what you're dealing with. Yeah. And they don't take it serious. They literally think it's going to be like some multicultural Wakanda. <laughs> it's like you are the dumbest motherfuckers in the history of evolution. Nah, man. It's going to be grunt work, back breaking work until you die. And then it's going to be like fucking shame, like, like this right here. They will shame you and you and you don't have no dignity. Like this thing about this guy's under people. This guy is look at fucking 4 30. That's breakfast. Then back to your cell. And then you may get some rep time. And then back to your cell. And then um lunch is at I think eleven or ten, something like that. And then there's some rec time, then back to your cell. There are people that come and toss his cell at randomly. Because, you know, in, in jail, like, they may just wake everybody up one day. Hey, everybody up, everybody out your cell. Blah, blah, blah. And you all got to sit down um, Indian style in the day room. And they go around and, I mean, when I say toss your cell, they just basically flip everything. Flip yourself. Just blah. And you come back to your cell, everybody. Come back to this cell and papers are everywhere. All your belongings are strewn all over the place. The beds, sheets are off. Da, 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 da. They just basically just went in there like the Tasmanian devil. And they call it looking for like weapons or whatever, looking for contraband. But really what they do is just destroy yourself. And um, this guy right here is under the thumb of that. And this is what he's managed to do while being under the thumb of that. He's managed to oppress other people. Well, he's not being oppressed by the prison guards. He's being he's being housed in this, in, a, in a in a in a penal facility. But with just think about that, he's managed to enslave three people. In that, you know what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying, fisherman? In that dynamic, right? It's crazy, man. I mean, I'm kind of skeptical of any type of stuff posted online, but given the fact that these guys are going to be vastly outnumbered and probably very ill-prepared to deal with this shit, I wouldn't doubt this being real. Oh, no, this is real, Jack. Son, man, Brad, like, listen, this is real. This ain't fake. Ain't nobody going to do this in jail. Where it's survival of the fittest, where it's dog eat dog. Nobody gonna do no prank like this. This is real, Jack. <laughs> this is real. Them guys ain't ain't gonna do that if they didn't have to do it. That's a week. That's a multiple. They really, they really have to do that. If he wanted them to fucking hop on one foot and touch their nose and spin around, singing fucking goddamn um, the wind beneath my wings backwards, they would do it. 
Because I'm telling you, man, this guy's got a gang behind him. He has. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they jumped him at any point over this shit, they got to worry about every other motherfucker in the clique. Yeah, but what I'm saying, Fisherman, is that there's already been the fear of God and still. Oh know. yeah, all these dudes have been checked and whipped <laughs> yeah. in the sh- in the showers and behind a closed door somewhere. Yeah, all these dudes have been checked. Yeah, jumping him is is not even crossing their mind. Like that's not even a thought, man. They're not even thinking about that right now. Um, they just you know want to get away. <laughs> want to get away. Shit. Salute to Paula S, man. She says, greetings all to all the nation. Salute, man. Yeah, he can make them twerk. Oh, yeah, he can make them twerk, pop it like it's hot. He can make them twerk like Lizzo right now. He loves He loves this power. Wow. Sun Man, insane, man. Jesus Christ, man. Um, mm, mm, mm. Whew. Mm-hmm. See, like, like ninety nine percent of gliders don't understand that this type of reality exists in the country that they live in. Yeah, yeah, they, they like they all the know. all the social hierarchies and uh, dynamics that exist within the Sun community, whether in public or in prison, is completely foreign to ninety plus percent of gliders. Wow, they don't understand it at all. That is scary, man. Like, cause they they claim to be know it alls. They claim to, you know, what I'm saying like when you hear them talk on TikTok or whatever, or you know, what I'm saying? they claim to like know us so well. Link in the description, but you know what I'm saying like they talk, they just talk like they understand us so well. If you talk to especially liberals, it's just like oh, they're like this. Oh, they do this. Oh, yeah. All, all they've been around is like some liberal educated sons that don't even fit into normal son right. environments. Sons that can't hang with other sons. The sons no. Very... The sons that were ostracized from the stand. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Then they don't they don't they don't even understand that their son friends are lames. What you would call lames. Like like when I would hang out with my son friends in school, and it's like they gotta steal something in every single fucking store we go into. Mm-hmm. That kind of behavior is completely foreign to 99% of gliders. Yeah, it's like I, like when red. I like I, like the gliders I work with, mm-hmm. you know, most of them did not grow up around sun people. And so when I tell mm-hmm. them like the shit that, you know, I would see my sun friends do, they just can't fathom. Like they steal stuff from every store. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, every like time we, every dollar general, every fucking gas station, some shit. Something. They're walk, they're walking out with something. Yeah, period. Some, even if it's not like something that it doesn't have to be something you need. It just has to be something. Just, just candy, to, a drink, you know, some earrings, some fucking bracelet that ain't worth shit. Yeah, something. That's true. I I definitely was like that. I definitely stole out of every store I went into. I stole out of even not even stores. I stole out of every place that i went to that wasn't like a home i never really stole out of people's houses but i stole out of every place that i went to like one time we were at the hospital i forgot why we were there i think my, my stepfather had some kind of surgery or something me and my cousin we, we were there with the family and we stole like a bunch of like hospital supplies like tubing and like um all types of like clamps and shit they had and we just we just stole that shit. We never even fucking needed it. You knew what the fuck it was. We just stole that shit because we just it was there. We was in a room and nobody was there, and there was drawers there, and we was going through the drawers. <laughs> we just started taking shit. It was just like that, yeah, man. But um, I think that it's. You, I feel bad for you, Gladys, because it's like. It's getting worse every day. Um, it's getting worse every like something like that. What we just saw though, fishermen, that doesn't work the same way with other people. When we see that, especially the street element or the pooky element or the the the, the 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 element that we speak about, they see that and they're like, "Oh, I want that." You know what I mean? It's blood in the water. Yeah, but not necessarily from those guys, but just some. You want your own 
for you. When you go to jail, you want to make your TikTok video showing how many slaves, white slaves you got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, it, it's, it's just a, a, it's a constant ego flex at the expense of everybody else. Yeah, they can never be satiated. Nah, ever, never. Um, Stunner says, "Did the first Gladys say he washes his balls?" That's what I thought he said. I, I, and the second one said he washes laundry. I was like, "You mean you wash his drawers? <laughs> you wash that guy's shitty fucking shit stained drawers, man?" That's what you meant to say. Um, yeah, man, that's a big thing. Somebody washing your drawers amongst the sun, man, in prison, man. It's a big thing. Somebody washing your drawers. You, they, they, they get a kick out of that, man. That was somebody washed their drawers. Um, <laughs> uh, salute, man. Salute to um, Cy Bain, man. Cy Brain. Hi, Op. Just wanted to let you know I've been lurking subscriber since the car days. Oh, wow. Did you have a different name? You must have had a different, a different name back then. Lurking subscriber since the car days. And I mean, since before the truth of Breonna Taylor part one. Wow. Yeah, man. You're talking about 2019 or 2018, maybe. Wow. Salute to you, Cybraid, man. Nine armed robberies in just three days. Chicago police now putting out a community alert warning for people to be on guard on the north and west sides. CBS 2's Asshole Rezai is live near Belmont and Clark, where one of those victims was robbed early this morning. Asshole. Yeah, so it happened, we're learning, as that victim stepped out of an Uber right here and stepped onto the sidewalk. As soon as he did that, he was surrounded by at least four men. It would be one of four robberies within just three hours. <sighs> the predatoriness, man. I mean, like, you can't have both, man. You can't have systematic oppression. You can't have... I'm a target. You can't have, um, I can't, you can't have all of the bullshit they talk about. It's, and it's literally and, like they, they claim systematic oppression. It's literally the opposite. It, it is pandering to a degree that a sun man would never experience under any sun man controlled environment. Right. Exactly. Or any um, sun sand man. Or yeah, you, any anybody. Uh, the gliders <laughs> have created an environment for the Sun Man that no other group, including other Sun Men, would ever create. Yeah. Surveillance video from a store on the corner shows the moment a crew of robbers pulls up in this dark SUV. It's hard to see through the snow in the dark alley, but doors open and close. Within 30 seconds, they speed off. The victim's friend says he wasn't hurt, but they took his luggage, a backpack, a work laptop, and his wallet and cell phone. That was a nice haul. His luggage, work backpack, who knows what was in there. Set, uh, laptop, cell phone. That was a nice haul, man. I mean, for four guys, I mean, if you if you put the little cell phone in the, you sell it, or if you put it in that little machine where they drop the cell phone, that's a hundred bucks. The laptop, you can probably sell it on the black market for a couple hundred bucks. Um, the, the contents of the bag, maybe, maybe, you know, he got some drip in there or something. Let's just say it's 400 bucks. They got out of that a hundred a piece. If you're doing four, if you're doing like constantly doing that, you know, boom, 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 boom all day long. I mean, who makes, how many of you guys make a hundred dollars a day at your job? How many of you guys make um four hundred dollars a day at your job with no taxes? This is very lucrative, man. I'm uh, getting out of an Uber. He took maybe about five steps, and all of a sudden there were um, uh, there was an SUV parked right here. About four or five men came out, and they just kind of surrounded him. Four or five men. Do you understand that if you 
if you cut in line at a target in front of a black guy and he recorded it and it went viral and the news reported on it you would be described as a white man a white man used his privilege to take us take liberties upon a guy a black man's personal space in his da, 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 da. you would be called a white man um uh, there was an suv parked right here about four or five men came out and they just kind of surrounded him um and just told him you know give me all your stuff they didn't i don't think they held him at gunpoint but it was just more so of like you know flashing of their weapons chicago police issuing this community alert with the list of nine addresses let's see if they got it in there hmm. anywhere nope i don't see the b word nope is where similar armed robberies have happened since Wednesday. Detectives say they are related, and at least two, the victims, were hit in the head. It's upsetting. I, I want better for our area. I, um, you know, I'm crime. Where's the anger, man? I mean, and, and I'm not even seeing, like, miffed. He ain't even miffed. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 more of like a, a malaise or like a, a fatigue from constantly being put in these scenarios and constantly knowing in the back of their mind that they can't say the whole truth. It's like if they get to the point where it's like, why are you even fucking asking me anymore? Like, why are we going through this sort of like ritualistic bullshit to pretend like we don't know what the fucking issue is? Yeah, I'm crime crime's a thing in every city but it's it's upsetting that it's uh you know we have the statistics that we do and um you know you just always have to look over your shoulder and, you know be aware when you're out now police are asking people to I, Ock, I'm, a, I'm gonna tell you something about glider body language okay every time you see a glider giving these interviews and they pause and they just stare off they're they're thinking hard R. The hard R is screaming in their mind. <laughs> Just FYI. Let me see, man. I want better for our area. I, um, you know, I, right there. Crime <laughs> crime's a thing in every city, but it's it's upsetting that it's uh, you know we have the statistics that we do, and um, you know you just always have to look over your shoulder, and, you know, be aware when you're out. Now, police are asking people to be extra alert, especially as we're heading into a very busy weekend. They say right now the investigation is ongoing, and so far no one is in custody. Live in No one is in custody. <laughs> God, dog, nine robberies, three days, same group, same MO. No one in custody, man. God, dog. All right, let's do this one. New tonight, 11 Alive just obtained a copy of a lawsuit filed by a grieving family against Simon Property Group and Dave and Busters. This comes after a Jefferson High School football player was shot and killed at Sugarloaf Mills Mall. The family Remember this one, um, Fisherman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he shot him with his girl over some weed. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> mall. The family accuses the companies of not doing enough to protect people at the mall. Harris Belger spoke. So they're suing the, the mall for not doing enough to protect people. There's no way you can protect people. There's from... nothing you can do. What else? What else can you do? Like armed security on every corner. It doesn't fucking matter. No sun teens without chaperones. They did. They tried that. They. Shut the mall down early. They tried that. They fucking um, goddamn patrols through the fucking um, parking lot. Cameras everywhere. Um, all types of shit. Chaperone. You got to have a chaperone. They've done everything they can reasonably without shutting the mall down. Then Maybe that's what they said. By... If, if you just didn't have the mall, <laughs> the family accuses the companies of not doing enough to protect people at the mall. Harris Belger spoke to Elijah DeWitt's family about the lawsuit as a suspect was arraigned in this case today.
It was an emotional day for Don and Craig DeWitt as the teen accused of killing their son, Elijah, went before a judge. As you count for, how do you plead? Chandler Richardson is charged with murder. So is his co-defendant, Kamari Bryan. Gwinnett County police say the pair shot DeWitt outside of the Dave & Buster's at the Sugarloaf Mills Mall last October. DeWitt's family told 11 Alive they not only want Richardson and Bryan to be held... Look at this guy's parents. <laughs> what was he doing around these sons with some weed, man? I guess, you know, I mean, everybody wants to buy a little weed or something, but just Scott Adams, man. I mean... Scott Adams. <laughs> well, I mean, he was he was a he was a high profile athlete. You know, he had yeah. son friends. That's just how yeah. it goes. Well, definitely, he's playing football. Yeah, he's playing football in the Atlanta area. He definitely got son friends. No, he popular guy. He was he was a, he was a he was he was um he was he was recruit a, a big a big recruit. I think he's going. I think he um I think he was going Arkansas State. I think that's where he was. Uh, he he had just signed his um committed to Arkansas state or something like that and um shit, man. <laughs> God, those those They're bullets don't care it's family told 11 alive they not only want richardson and brian to be held accountable they're also suing simon property group which owns the mall and oversees the david busters that's our ultimate goal is to make sure you or no one else ever has to get a call that their child is shot and they do not come home. Their lawsuit alleges the companies knew this was a high crime area, but failed to take adequate security measures. <laughs> okay, so she's asking them to profile because who's doing all the crime? Who's doing 99.8% of the crime? They, she's asking them to profile. She's asking them when I walk up to, you know, like, what did you want to do? Stop and frisk? What's yeah, hey, so, hey, sir, what are you doing here? Oh, out comes the cell phone. <laughs> like, what are they? It, what it's a lose on? lose no matter what you do. Yeah, this 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 is just insane, man. I just don't understand, man. What she wants? Um, defendants negligently. So she's telling the mall negligently failed to maintain a policy, procedure, or system of investigating, reporting, and warning of aforementioned criminal activity. <sighs> what is she talking about, man? There's no way you can stop this stuff without these. Now, these guys had criminal records. So if they had been prosecuted and sentenced properly, that's the only thing you could have done. They, cops had already arrested these guys a bunch of times. Come home. Their lawsuit alleges the companies knew this was a high crime area, but failed to take adequate security measures. It's about Elijah, but it's also about keeping other members of our community safe. Other people who go to malls and shopping centers and Dave and Buster's. And the family believes the companies should have alerted the public about safety concerns, saying if they had been aware, they would not have allowed their son to go there. And he would have gone anyway because he's a teen kid. He's comfortable. What, 80 percent of his teammates are fucking son teens. He's around son teens all the time in the controlled environment of this is this is <laughs> it's different being around son teens on the football team in practice and in school and the other this was the wild <laughs> he was, was something to the wild man um it wasn't like nobody had to answer the coach man <laughs> saying if they had been aware they would not have allowed their son to go there what is it that prevents crime let's find that out let's make sure that that we maximize <laughs> His glider mind can't compute. He's just lost. <laughs> oh shit! This is a st I, this is a tragedy. I feel bad for this kid. This kid's story. Um, it's, it's I mean, terrible. he might as well try to fly a kite in a tornado. <laughs> uh, so what that Paul. that pussy foot answer? <laughs> Paula says. Salute, fishermen. We caught 36 crappie today. They're spawning. Are you a fisher? You a fisher? Real fisherman? Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, 
I wonder what lake that's in. That was a she. That was Paula. Mm. Okay. So she say, said, say what lake that's in in the chat. Yeah, Paula. Paula, tell them what lake you got these crappies and at. what you caught them on. Is it? That- yeah. Fun to go there. What is it that prevents crime? <laughs> Let's find that out. Let's make sure that that we maximize the place that we're sending our our children. I've reached out to Simon Property Group and Dave and Buster's about the family's allegations, but we haven't been able to verify yet whether, in fact, there were other crimes reported at that location. Police are investigating after a person was seen pulling down a candidate's campaign signs. The same thing happened to another candidate. With the first city election in less than two weeks, some candidates say their signs are being destroyed. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris is here with more on this. Janice? Joy, this has happened to two separate candidates in the last couple of days. They hope whoever is targeting their son is definitely Democrats. Signs will stop. It's March 7th at 545 in the morning, and someone appears in front of the Jacksonville Association of Firefighters building. A couple of seconds later, you see a person take down a sign for Jacoby Pittman. When you saw the video footage of it, what were your thoughts? I was really taken back because, you know, it's a federal crime. Jew apostrophe 